Hello, my name is Igor. Three print is my hobby at home, but now we are on my workplace here in St. Ishwan University in Budapest. And in this episode, I'd like to show you how to design and 3D print a static mixer. Static mixer is an object for mixing fluids without moving components. Just insert it inside the tube and the fluids will be divided by the geometry of the static mixer. In my previous episode, I was designing and 3D printing a spiral helix tubeless promoter for membrane filtration which is continuous spiral. The design process will be similar with the static mixer, only here we have to combine the clockwise counterclockwise direction because this geometry has to split the fluid during the flowing inside the tube. Of course, these are commercially available static mixers, but with this method you can design and 3D print different pitch diameter radio, different length, different size. And software I will use is Design Spark Mechanical because in my primary software, Fusion 360, we don't have those tools so far for to work with the spiral helix objects. I will show you the full design process. You will see it is very simple, very quick, and you can use it to design and 3D print different size of the static mixer. On my website, I will upload 10 millimeter diameter, 100 millimeter length static mixer, so you can scale it to the different. Uh, sizes if you need. If you don't want to design, just you can use my STR5 for this. You can join them and similar. Okay, let's start with the design. Okay, let's start with a rectangle. Let's change the view. 1.5 millimeter and 7.5 millimeter. Pull tool, revolve, select an axis to rotate about Z axis, and it is important to enable the revolve helix. Pitch will be 20 millimeters. And let's start with the first edge, and 10 millimeter will be the height of the first surface. So we have our first element. This is not a solid object yet because we have to close the top of this object with this pull tool. Seven point five millimeters, and it, it changed the color now. So this is now the solid object. Let's add another element. Unfortunately, in Design Spark Manical, I didn't find the mirror tool for object, which is very strange. But never mind, I will uh, create another element. So let's start with sketch from this surface. Let's change the view. I can even hide this object so it's easier to construct. And again, a rectangle, define rectangle from the center. And now this is uh, 7.5 and 1.5 millimeter. And again, repeat the revolve tool. So mode, revolve, axis, it, again, it will be the z-axis. Revolve helix, but now it is important to disable the right-handed helix because we need the counterclockwise direction now. Okay, it remembered the pitch 20 millimeter, and now let's say the surface 10 millimeter. Select the, select the edge 10 millimeter. And again, we have a base, we have four surfaces, and we have to close the top to uh, become a solid object, this new element. And that we'll do with this pull tool. Seven point five. Great, and it changed the color, and it, it became a solid object. So we had, we have two elements now. All we have to do now is to copy these elements. Control C, Control V, and let's move, move to. 
20 mm. Now we, we have four elements and we can repeat this depend how long we want the static mixer. And theoretically with this, this object is ready. This looks like those commercially available classic static mixers, but printing this is very hard. I will try to print it in horizontal position with supports. I will see if the quality will not be so good. Then I have to modify this a little bit to print it in vertical position. I have this experience from my previous video when I designed these turbulence promoters spiral turbulence promoter for memory filtration. Okay, for test, let's print these four elements only for start. This is Prusa Slicer software. Let's prepare this. I will use extremely small layer height, 0 0.7. PLA, support on bit plate only. Yes, and I will use a brim. And there it is. Prepared for 3D printing. This is the preview. Okay, let's print this. As I expected, printing in horizontal position, well, it's not that bad. It can be useful, especially if I coat it with the epoxy resin. But uh, from my experience from previous video, I know in vertical position it will be much better printing. Well, uh, in previous version, I had that continuous spiral. and uh, But here, it's break. So, there is a problem. If I print it vertical, this cannot be printed, this surface, in the air with the 3D printing. So here I have to add a surface which can create an overhang, approximately 45 degrees theoretical safe overhang. So in that case, this will be printable in vertical position. Okay, let's copy this surface. And now I will pull it, extend. I want separate objects. And now this surface I want to be 45 degree angle. And now printing in vertical position is possible because this surface will be printed with this 45 degree overhang. Okay, let's copy this object to the other surfaces. This object is too long and too thin to be printed vertically. So I will create four objects like this and they will basically support each other. Uh, that version I used in my previous video with I 3D printed a uh, Spiral Helix Tubeless Promoter. So let's join these elements first. Okay, now we have one object. Let's copy it. And 
And now let's create a rectangle in the middle that will connect these long objects so they will support each other. We need very small overlap here because they have to touch each other but not too big so the printing line shouldn't be continuous. Right. And now this object is ready to be 3D printed. This is now the preview in the slicer. I will use 0.2mm layer height I will use brim and also I, I like to raise the first layer height to 0.3 millimeter because it will better grip between brim and the object itself. This is the preview of the printing. And let's check very important position and this is the one. So that overlap between middle rectangle and the printed static mixer has to be very small because this is the important moment. As you can see, they are touching each other, but it's not continuous line from this rectangle to these objects. In this case, they will support each other, but at the end it will be much easier to separate these static mixers from the middle support object. Great, let's generate the G code and start with the printing. Okay, let's separate this. First I will take off the brim. It is quite strong because I use 0.3 layer height millimeter. And then I just move a little bit the mixer. And it break off the middle support. So it's, it's very easy to remove it. And this is it without any post processing. You can see here the connection points, but nothing was working on this after taking off the support. And compare it with this version. This was printed horizontally. So my priority test will be with this memory filtration unit, but unfortunately it is inside, we cannot see what is happening inside the static mixer, so I will finish that later. Instead, I will place this static mixer in the glass tube and I will try to mix some fluids. Okay, let's go outside because the daylight is much better for the slow motion video and it's coffee time anyway.
the visual effect was a little bit different than I expected. It was very hard to get constant flow of pouring from our hands, but I hope you will find it a little bit interesting. Mm, too much milk. Don't forget, uh, 3D printing by default usually is not food safe. In the near future I will talk about that how can you make your 3D printings food safe. I'm waiting some results from our laboratory. Uh, only it's summer here, so everybody is on holiday until September. But until that, maybe you could subscribe and you will get notifications about that video too. Thank you for watching and happy printing. Bye.